This is a Japanese Toyota Alphard. But I am certainly not in Japan. I'm in Bolton. Where's he off to? What a strange place to park. This seven-seater family car has been shipped over all the way from the city of, wait, Toyota to the UK. You're literally driving in the middle of the flipping road, you idiot. And it's been completely stripped out and transformed into a futuristic car camper. Today's video, I'm putting this car through its paces for the next 24 hours to see what it's actually like to drive, eat, and sleep inside as I experience one of my most challenging nights car camping ever. I thought they were pretty much all gone, but they're not. Welcome back to another episode where I go out and travel around to different parts of the UK and go and experience completely different and unique campers. Today, I've got a very, very Japanese Toyota Alphard, which is a car that has been converted into a camper. The weirdest thing about this is the handbrake is actually on a foot pedal, which is something I've never experienced before. Indicators on the right, as always. A lot of the vehicles in this series, driving them for the first time has been absolute chaos. Oh, oh. It just sounds like the batteries did. Yeah. <laughs> However, as soon as I stepped foot into this one, I knew straight away it was going to be a completely different driving experience for a few reasons. Look at the interior of the vehicle. It feels like I'm James Bond, just Japanese style. Sugar tits, sorry mates. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See what he, why, why was he looking at me like that? Was I miles away or something? When I'm driving other people's vehicles, I get a few dodgy looks because I'm obviously trying to give them as much space as possible because I don't want broken wing mirrors or scratched vans on my return giving them back to the owners. But a few people like him don't quite like it. You're literally driving in the middle of the flipping road, you idiot. This week, we're in the beautiful countryside of Bolton, specifically Chorley, which is an area I've never even heard of before. And the place that has surprised me, to be honest with you, because I didn't expect it to look like this. I tell you what, it doesn't get any more beautiful than that. Rolling hills and countryside absolutely everywhere. What a stunning place. Oh, I can't resist the puddle. Oh, God. Oh, the Toyota Alphard is absolutely whizzing down these country lanes. What an absolute spot this place is. There's loads of different things going on in this vehicle, especially for you tech geeks, you're gonna love it. There's so many knobs, buttons, things to have a play around with. Mate, this is like bloody Scotland. Close. Oh, just like magic. <laughs> oh. I've seen these Alphards around quite a lot and I've always wanted to come and test one out because one, the way they look, they're very futuristic and Japanese-esque looking. They're not your typical vehicle that you see driving on the roads. And I think the guys actually paid £9,000 for this and then actually spent another £3,000 doing the conversion, which of course tonight I'm gonna to be testing out. come to that point in the video where I've taken this for a drive, I've tested it out around some windy country narrow lanes. We're now gonna make our way to a nice little Asda, go and pick up the ingredients for tonight's dinner. And what's beautiful about this, it's a car, not a van, which means I shouldn't have any problems parking this in hopefully a single bay. got ourselves a lovely little reverse camera which just makes things so much easier. Shame I'm just awful at reversing. Everything's beeping at me. Park, left foot down, engage the handbrake, window up, Bob's your uncle. 
fancy room. We're gonna go inside, grab the ingredients for tonight's dinner, but there's two things in life that I wanna get better at. One of them is cooking, because if you've been watching the channel and the videos for a while, you'll know cooking is not my forte. I think I butchered this one. The other thing, is reading, because I definitely do not do enough reading. I've been getting loads of inspiration down in the comments of the videos with you guys pinging me a bunch of recipes to try out on the videos, but today's recipe actually comes from the sponsor who is Readly. So Readly is an online digital newspaper and magazine service. I love it because they've got over 7,000 different magazines, different articles, different newspaper to choose from, so you can literally pick any subject that you like and there is something for you to read. Obviously, because everything is digital and online, it is completely paperless, which means it's eco-friendly, it's good for the environment, and also for my OCD, it means I don't have magazines and newspapers scattered absolutely everywhere. My favorite magazine at the moment is the Camper Van Magazine. It's got loads of different ideas of different places to travel to, different places to go in your van, loads of tips and tricks about van life and other people's journey and story into living this kind of lifestyle. If you guys wanna get some travel inspo or some cooking recipes like myself, because you're a diabolical cook, or you wanna know about some of the latest tech gadgets, any topic that you like, you can go down to the link in the description if you want to try it out, get two months for free, and what's even better, if you don't enjoy it, you can actually cancel at any time. I'm gonna now head in and go and grab the ingredients for tonight's dinner, which is a chorizo and bean stew, something as always that I've never cooked before. I've been banging on in this video so far about the beautiful countryside and the weather because I thought we were in luck, however, just over there is one hell of a storm cloud. So tonight is gonna be interesting to see how I fare in this camper in what looks like a storm on the way. Go. We've only got one car currently in this spot. Oh my God, and I understand why. There are potholes everywhere. Whoa, this isn't my car to drive through potholes in. We have found ourselves what I thought literally about two minutes ago was the quietest parking spot on this entire road. However, it's not. There's one, two, three, four, about five vehicles here that literally just turned up out of nowhere. But can you blame them? Because it's a beautiful little spot. We've got some gray clouds in the distance, which I think are heading this way. I'm gonna jump inside, show you guys around because I wanna give you a proper tour all about this car. First things first, I've got to say, I really like this vehicle. And probably the biggest reason is purely the shape and the way that it looks. It is full of features, that actually involve the key. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> oh, just like magic. <laughs> oh. The sliding doors on either side actually open up automatically with the touch of the key fob. And considering the key fob on my own van doesn't work, I love this feature, I think it's brilliant. It is futuristic, it is pure laziness, but it's beautiful. I believe also that the front door opens somehow. I think if you just put your hand on it, Hold on. I thought if you just put your hand on it, it opens up. Oh God, something's beeping. This is chaos, how do you stop this? <laughs> it closes by itself as well. Right, let's try this again. <laughs> I've pressed the wrong button. This one opens sesame. Et voila. I know I'm boring, you've already seen the inside of the cab, but like I said, there's a lot more going on in here that I couldn't show you earlier. Loads of weird <laughs> beeps and things going on in here. What I do really like actually about this is Tony, the owner, they had a center console in the middle of the van. <laughs> there was a center console in here. They complete. <laughs> Low battery, please connect car adapter. This is like a van without a bulkhead because you can kind of walk through into the back and into the living space. Now, obviously, it's another cramp night for me because, uh, yeah, I can't stand up in here. Fucking hell, there's fucking insects galore in here. Oh my God. Nah, that's disgusting. I'm not sleeping here with all these flies. So underneath where the center console used to be, Tony's actually installed a little button that will open up the skylight above. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Tonight, this might be how I'm cooking, <laughs> just standing up like this. <laughs> We've got motorbikes zooming past, doing wheelies. <laughs> and we've got flies galore in here. <laughs> so I want to shut this up. I don't know why there's so many flies. <laughs> Fucking hell, it's letting more in. Close. 
<laughs> I'm completely shutting this man, mate. This is like bloody Scotland. Close! Oh, there's so many in here. Oh, look, I've just killed one in my finger. Continuing on with the rest of this very professional tour, we have got a nice little swivel seat, which obviously in a vehicle of this size is an absolute necessity. <laughs> so let me spin this round. Where's the lever? Oh, that's definitely not the, oh my God. Where's the lever to swivel this? Surely that's not the lever, is it? I've never seen a swivel seat lever like that before. Which way do I have to swivel it? Perhaps not the easiest vehicle to use when everything's closed. Oh. <sighs> We've got a nice little small size fridge down here to store all of your goods. We've got a huge amount of work server space and this additional <laughs> <laughs> table that just slides on and off the railings and is actually foldable as well. So when you don't need it, you can just put it away. My Lord, this place is bonkers, isn't it? It's absolutely bonkers. <laughs> Underneath the kitchen table, the office desk. Again, more storage. <laughs> Welcome to the bedroom where the magic definitely won't be happening tonight because one, the bed is quite ditzy and quite small. It does actually, as most of the vehicles, of this kind, we've got ourselves a rock and roll bed, which is on a nice leather fabric, which means tonight I'm gonna to be absolutely dripping and sticking to it because that's just what happens with leather. Underneath here, decent bit of storage space. So you just pull the bed out like so. Watch your fingers, watch your ass bend. <laughs> oh, oh my God, I've just, are they getting in here? Is this close? <laughs> I'm sweating, mate. I've got to take this off. It's flipping boiling in here. The bed, it's definitely plenty big enough for me, lengthways. Widthways, it's obviously not massive. I don't know how on earth two people would sleep in here comfortably. The thought now of trying to cook in here without having windows open with these boy races just literally ragging it up and down the road. I don't know if this is going to be a very pleasant night's sleep, that's for sure. Whose tissue's that? That ain't my tissue. Ugh. Excuse me, Ben. It's very tight in here. <laughs> it's very tight and personal. <laughs> You're going to get a face full of ass, girl. <laughs> Oh. oh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoy this content. Right, first job on the list. It absolutely stinks in here of feet already. We have got some bread, some cheese, of course, some saucy sauce, some good old Spanish chorizo sausage, some white kidney beans because we couldn't find butter. What are they called? Butter, nut, butter, buttercup, butter, butter bean. Butter beans. Courgettes, more kidney be uh, white kidney beans, some pesto, some onion pepper, and all of this stuff. So I'm gonna chop all this up, whack it in a pan, get the stew on the go, whack a bit of spice, a bit of this, a bit of that, get it all cooking, and uh, show you the process of how all of this is gonna look. Oh my God, mate, there's loads. Oh my God. Oh, Close, it. Close it. Close it. Close the window. <laughs> ben behind the camera, he's always filming me, but right now, he's too focused on the insects. <laughs> A few moments later. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I got a runny nose. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking the executive decision and we're moving outside because right now I'm just smelling onions, breathing onions. Oh, sh I need to get out, mate. <laughs> Turn the ignition on! <sighs> oh! Oh, oh my god. That's a nice sky. Yeah. Lovely sky. I'm gonna pass you things. Okay. There's insects everywhere. No, they're all in here. Quick! Close it! I think we've got to cook outside, mate. What's <laughs> going on? Right, let's just go. T take everything outside. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get out of here. This is too bad. Oh, I'm gonna have so many insects in here tonight. Come out, my friends. Come on. Oh, they're all over my. <laughs> yes, oh, Mate. This is deeply unpleasant. Look how steamed up the car is. I feel better out here though. Do you? Oh, brilliant. There's a nice dog poo there where I was about to set my dinner up. Yeah, they bite me. I've got little bites on my hand. Oh, shit. You actually do? Yeah. You sure that's not bed no, bugs? No, 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 no. They bite. <laughs> oh, this. <laughs> a lot of you will know that I always stay in the owner's vehicle and Ben behind the camera, who's getting eaten alive, 
he always brings my van and stays in my van. And this is the first time ever I'm thinking of completely aborting this and we might go and cook in my van because this is just horrendous. I personally think it's better being outside than it is inside. Oh. Let's see your hands. Where, where are they? Oh Look. my God, yeah, One, two, yeah. Three, four, five, six. We've got to scrap the cooking setup inside here because of the insects, because of the fact that we can't. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. There Ben, I'm not paying you enough for this, am I? <laughs> no, right. You want more dollar? Yeah. Right, we're going, we're going to cook inside, Mary, because at least I've got the max air fan that can get a bit of ventilation in yeah. and the bugs aren't in there, so... Yeah, let's go. I'm coming, <laughs> I'm coming back to the airport later. Oh. Take everything over. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Some bloke that just went for a piss in the bush. Just started chatting to me and I put the pot, the pot, my head's all over the place. I put the bowl on top of the cart and then all of the veggies have just gone all over the floor. Oh, that is not good. No vegetables tonight. Oh man. We got no veg, mate. <laughs> oh shit. Open the door. Uh, uh, close the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that van is full of them. There's some in here, but it's not too bad. Anybody? Anybody? Anyone? Any? I oh, can't. <laughs> We're gonna cook up the rest of this dinner inside here because it's slightly more safe in here, and we can actually breathe and get some bloody ventilation in because of the fan. I've just done a quick Google. What do midges like? Midges' primary nourishment comes from flower nectar and other high sugar sources. Midges are also attracted to humans thanks to the CO2, body heat, and particular scents we make. Once midges become aware of these cues, they hunt down their target. I'm going to see what the situation is like in the car for tonight because I just need to see how many midges are in there. I'll be back. And if I'm not back, quick, quick, quick. you know where I am. <laughs> Where are you, bastards? Holy guac of fro Okay, yep, they're, oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh my God, yep, they're everywhere. Okay, decision made. Gonna finish cooking up the dinner in my van and then we're gonna go to a much lower spot that isn't absolutely surrounded by all of this damp kind of grassy wetland. Dinner is served not the tastiest or most pleasurable thing to eat but uh it's gonna fill a hole so uh yeah let's finish it off and then make our way to another park up well i am glad to say i think we might be out of midgey land i can't tell you where we are right now because to be honest with you i haven't got a clue i just found it on park for night but i'm hoping all of the insects and bugs are out come in quick oh there's still some in here that's why oh my god I've just had the windows open the whole way to try and get them out. Try that light behind oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, look, 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 they're all up there. Really? Yeah, there's, they're, they're still in here, man. This is tonight's setup. A picnic blanket kind of covering the front. Nice little window deflector on here. Another one already suction cupped on here. And uh, just need to pull out the rock and roll bed and say, Bon nuit, good night, and I will see you in the morning. Oh, it's all... Very tight in here. Oh, I thought they were pretty much all gone, but they're not. They are absolutely everywhere in here. Where are they coming from? Shit almighty, my God. This is horrendous. This is probably one of the worst van life, camping, car camping, vehicle camping experiences I've had. Fly swatter, where are you fly swatter? You little twats. My God, they're all over the pillow because I've just been splatting them. This is literally like a, some sort of fly midgy infestation. Where do you come from? I've just killed you, I thought. Good morning. Even this morning, I hadn't seen any midges, but they are actually still everywhere, <laughs> splattered all over the class. As always with these smaller vehicles, not a huge amount of space, and because it's absolutely pissing down with rain, I'm not going outside to get changed. It is absolutely vile out here. I'm pretty sure over there in the distance, that's Bolton Wanderers Football Club. Not that you'll be able to see it in this weather conditions. Welcome to the UK summer. 
It's absolutely glorious. I'm going to pack all this away and say hasta la vista to the Toyota. Job done. It's sad times to say goodbye to the Toyota Alphard. I'd love to say I've enjoyed my stay in here, but as you've seen, it's been a little bit chaotic, but I genuinely think this is an awesome little vehicle. Loads of gadgets, loads of gizmos, loads of nice looking modern things going on, especially in the cab area. Absolutely love all this wooden style mahogany look. I think Tony and Kirsty have done a great job in here and actually converting this very normal seven seater family car into a tiny little car camper. This week's comment of the week, I don't think could be any more relevant to today's video because it comes from Wandering Wilcox 9718 who says, don't you have more bloopers than regular footage, lol? And I don't know if I even have to comment on that because this entire video feels like a blooper. As always, guys, if you've enjoyed today's video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up. Please make sure to drop a comment down below on what vehicle you want to see me go out in next. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, I'll catch you in next week's video and I'll give you a clue. It might be the smallest vehicle I've ever been in, ever. The last time I start you up, my friend, Oh no. Oh no. I've got a flat battery. Look, look, look. We've got no power. I'm trying to think what I could have left on to have made the battery go flat. Right, here we go then. Let's try and figure this out and uh, can you give us a jump start, mate? Red, black. I hope I've got charge on my Nuco jump starter. Hopefully, I have some charge in this. Leave this with me, Ben, I'm a mechanic. We should be out of here in no time. You're meant to put negative on first, I think? Right, that should be it. Now let's turn her on and I think we're in luck. We've got power, we've got power. Start, baby. Hey! Have no fear, Willie's here to sort things out. <laughs> Call me Bob the Builder. Right, let's put the bonnet down and get the hell out of here. Bye, see you in next week's video, subscribe. Reverse, where are you?